turning over a new leaf in the study of cannabis using plants grown on the Cape West coast of South Africa. Dr. Machrit Muller and Professor Andre de Villiers made a breakthrough finding of 79 phenolic compounds in three of the strains. 25 of these were reported for the first time in cannabis. In the cannabis industry, the, the plant, the leaf material, apart from the inflorescence of the bud, is essentially a waste material. So in South Africa, they, they combust, they burn it, right, to get rid of it. And our results show that the leaves at least contain a large number of bioactive molecules, potentially very interesting bioactive molecules. And so potentially this would lead to or could lead to the valorization of a waste product of the industry currently. And that would be um, very interesting to the industry, but also from a medicinal perspective. But between now and then, there's still a lot of work to be done. De Villiers says flavor alkaloids are derivatives of flavonoids, which are very well known secondary metabolites produced by plants. They're also very physiologically active. A well known example is. Uh, caffeine is, a, is an alkaloid, uh, morphine is an alkaloid. And so these flavor alkaloids contain the flavonoid backbone with the alkaloid attached to it. But what makes them interesting is that flavonoids are found throughout the plant kingdom, but flavor alkaloids are quite scarce. So there's only less than a hundred certainly that have been identified to date and only in uh, a select number of plant species. So it doesn't seem that a lot of plants are capable of biosynthesizing these molecules. And that's why we didn't expect to find them in cannabis. The analytical methods were developed by Dr. Machrit Miller and the results published in the Journal of Chromatography A. This journal publishes research and reviews of fundamental and applied separation science. The two-dimensional liquid chromatography is used to separate out the compounds. So we put the samples subsequently through two different columns that separate the compound based on two different properties. Once the compounds are separated, the mass spectrometer is used to detect the compounds to be able to identify them. Researchers say their findings are significant in unlocking further studies into the possible medicinal properties in cannabis leaves. I think now that the scientific community is aware of the flavor alkaloids in cannabis, we will be seeing much more papers that also detect it because now they know to look for it. So it will be very interesting to determine on a global scale how common the flavor alkaloids are. Miller says while they only detected flavor alkaloids in one strain, a follow-up study has already detected it in 12 additional strains of cannabis. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.